Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Cask and Q, where whiskey and barbecue meet. I'm your host, Justin Lloyd, and today it's Memorial Day, so we're gonna cook a half chicken. Stick around. So as you can see, we have a whole chicken. Uh, took it out of the packaging, obviously. Uh, blotted it dry and then added some uh, salt to it. Just a light amount just to cover, you know, kind of everywhere the crevices. And what that does is helps draw out the moisture from the skin, which will help us get crispier skin. I've also put it on this rack and I put it in the refrigerator for about three hours so it could kind of absorb all the moisture, draw it out. And, uh, you know, we didn't want to have it pooling and sitting in its own juices in the bottom. So that's why I'm using the wire rack. So today, I'm gonna be using the Gospel. It's uh, by Meat Church. It's a great all-purpose barbecue rub. You're gonna need some cooking spray. That's gonna help crisp up the skin. A sharp knife and some sturdy kitchen shears. Let's get this guy prepped. And there's no need to wash the salt off. I'm just gonna leave it on there. It's gonna be fine. Make sure we dig out any weird stuff we have in the cavity. You can use this for stock if you'd like later on. I don't think I'll do that this time around. There's always this weird piece right here. I just like to cut that off. So in order to get this chicken uh, in half, I like to follow along the backbone here and just kind of make a score mark. That's gonna let me know where to cut. So the next thing I like to do is take my kitchen shears and just follow along that backbone. And like I said, you can save all that stuff for stock. So there's this breastbone right here that's a bit of a problem. So what we're gonna have to do is get through that. There we go. And I always like to press down to hear it pop just like that. So this would be your regular spatchcock chicken. But like I said, we're not doing a spatchcock, we're doing a half chicken. Clean up these little bits. You don't want any of those weird pieces. And you also don't want to cut your fingers. Be careful cutting towards yourself. Don't ever do that. So what we're going to do is take this a step further and go right down the middle. There we go. Let's clean up some of this stuff to make it more presentable. There's one half. So there we have it. Half chickens. Half chicken. Yeah, half chicken. So we have our Blaze Kamado fired up. It's running lump charcoal. Uh, we're gonna cook about 275 today. Uh, we are using a diffuser plate and uh, there's a chunk of oak in there. So our next step is to hit it with some cooking spray. You can use canola oil, vegetable oil, whatever. This is gonna help the rub stick to the chicken. Get the other side. And some of you may ask, why is this, why do it this way? Well. It helps get more flavor and charred pieces onto the chicken. It just yields a better product, and plus it cooks it a lot quicker, and you don't end up with rubbery skin. I think it's totally worth doing it this way. Let's get this rub applied. And you could uh, inject if you want. I'm not doing that today, just taking it easy. No frills. I like to keep things simple most of the time when it comes to barbecue. I think people overcomplicate things sometimes. I'm not saying I've never done that, because I know I have. Chicken is one of my favorite things to cook, man. It's inexpensive and it's always so good and everybody likes it. Well, I say everybody, maybe vegetarians don't. Can't speak for them. i just press that in. There we go. Let's get the other side. Nice, even application. And this is a really good rub you can use on just about anything. That will do it. Let's go to the cooker. Clean those grill grates, forgot to do that. cook these guys skin side down. We're gonna let this rock and roll for about 45 minutes and come back and check. All right guys, that chicken's reached 160 internal. So it's time to take those chicken halves off, sauce them, and then put them back on the smoker for just a little bit. We'll be right back. All right, as you can see, that's looking really good. We got a you know good color on here. Uh, we're sitting, that's some good char. Look at all that juice. Uh, this is gonna be really good. Um, so we're, we're sitting about 162 internal. So we're just gonna hit this with some barbecue sauce and that's gonna serve as a glaze. You can use whatever sauce you like. Uh, this one is just a, a concoction that I had made up. 
I'm just kind of paint that on there. You don't want to overdo it. You want to make sure that you get that smoky flavor and that the barbecue sauce doesn't overpower the meat. And make sure you get those drumsticks about like that. Man, this smells amazing. This is a cheap dinner too. This is a chicken that I picked up at the grocery store for, I don't know, seven bucks. Go ahead and sauce the other side too. Man, this smells amazing. Again, don't overdo it on the sauce. Just put a light coat on here. All right, let's put it back on the smoker for about five minutes. This time we're gonna put it uh, skin side up. All right, guys, this is rested. It smells amazing. Let's go ahead and get into this thing. We're gonna leave one of them whole. Uh, I'm gonna Ziploc that one, I think. And this one will be the one we dig into. Let's take that leg off. Drumstick. Oh, the juice, look at that. That's crazy. No, doggy, you can't have any. Oh man, juicy and tender. Mmm. So I took a bite and that is phenomenal. The end product speaks for itself here, I think. This is a great method. And this only took a little over an hour to cook. Or no, I'm sorry, hour and a half, hour and a half. So we'll just get in there and tear that wing off. And that breast, and just remove that bone right there. like that. See what we got here. Let me move that out of the way too. Man, just tender, juicy, perfectly cooked. Like I said, this is quite the inexpensive dinner and it's fun to cook. It's a good uh, holiday weekend deal. Um, it's gonna please most people. If you have vegetarians over, then feed them some lettuce. I don't know what to tell you. Let's try this medallion of white chicken breast. That Holy Gospel uh, meat church rub really brings out the flavor in the chicken. Doesn't overpower it. The salt that I put on to, brine the, to dry brine the chicken, you can't even tell it's there. This is a winner and you gotta try it. Hey, thanks for stopping by Cask and Q or Whiskey and Barbecue Meat. If you don't mind, uh, go ahead and like, subscribe, and smash that bell. It helps us grow. We certainly appreciate it. Thanks for sticking around and happy Memorial Day.